today we'll be learning how to make a fitted bodycon dress very fitted bodycon dress so i'm using a rib fabric rib fabric is stretchy because it's stretchy i'm not going to be adding any sewing allowance okay so here is my base here is my base then from here i'll start taking my measurements my shoulder is seven inches My, my neck width, I'm making use of neck width of 3 inches. Then our shoulder slope, 1 inch. Then I'll take it to my... And this dress will be sleeveless. It's not going to have any sleeve. My arm will measurement. Normally, I use it for my armhole measurement. That is when I want to attach sleeve to it. But because it's sleeveless, I don't need the armhole to be too open. So I'm removing one inch from my normal armhole measurement. I want to make sure this is also seven. My bust is. 11.5 waist is 15.5 from my waist i'll take my hip line from my waist and my hip line is nine inches here is my boss waist and my hip Boss, waist, and hip. Here is that my ankle. So I'm going to take the measurement. My boss circumference divided by four. I have nine point five. Remember, I said because we need the dress to be fitted and the fabric is stretchy, so we are not going to be adding any sewing allowance. So that nine point five inch. Is what I'll be taking no swing allowance my waist is 7.5 waist divided by 4 my hip is 10 inches then then I'm going to connect waist to boss then take it up to the ankle then waist to your hip and this place this part you have to blend it you have to blend it so you won't get any sharp edge there then the length of my dress i'll be making use of 40 inches plus hemming allowance that is i'll be adding two inches for the hem that means i'll be making use of 42 inches 42. 42. So on this part, I'm going to take it straight down. We use 10 for the hip. We use 10 here. So we are still going to use 10. Then take it straight down. Okay. On this part, the ankle, because I don't want to be attaching any sleeve to this dress, I'm going to remove one inch from the shoulder. One inch, because I don't want the sleeve to be too wide to get to the shoulder area. So I'll be, I'll be removing one inch. Then, then connect it with my French curve. neck depth of four four inches okay. 
right. For corn dress to come out perfectly, use a stretchy fabric and do not add any sewing allowance to it so that it will not be too free. Corn dress is, corn dress is supposed to be fitted, okay? So our front part is ready. We are cutting out the back now. The only difference on the back is just the neckline. So the back neck width remains three, but the neck depth we are going to make use of one and a half inches. One and a half inch. We are going to cut out now. Our back and front piece is ready. What I'm going to do now is to cut out the bias with the fabric. I'm still using the same fabric. I'll cut out the bias, sew everything together. Here are my bias. I'm going to join them together, sew it to my neck, and also to my armhole. Remember, there's no sleeve, sew it to my neck and to my armhole. This is what I have. I'm going to wear it and you see how it looks like. 